The richest night in Supercross is moments away. This is the Monster Energy Cup. They can say what they want. Only makes us stronger. Take us straight to the top. Here it is, a million dollars on the line. Let's go, it's been building up like an architect. Let's just walk and next thing you know, lost the manifest, getting out of control. And Ryan Villapoto has done it. Marvin Muskin wins a million dollars. Eli Tomac, he's done it. Since the fight to the finish, always has been, always will be. Survival of the fittest. The world's best riders. This is yours for the taking, so what are you waiting for? Can't wait anymore. The sport's top young talent. All racing, a one-of-a-kind track. Under the lights. Set it off, put it all to the test. Every ounce of sweat with every breath, nothing less. Set it off, get ready, get set. Come on, set it off. Hold steady, be next, come on. This is the Monster Energy Cup. Tonight, right here in Sam Boyd Stadium in Las Vegas, Nevada, somebody could take home one million dollars. It's the ninth running of the Monster Energy Cup. Here we go. The first main event, game drop of the night, and the quest for a million dollars is underway. Coming around, is it going to be Santorulo with the whole shot? But how about the number six right there? 16 months he's been off the bike, and Jeremy Martin is right in the thick of things. He sits in second. And Malcolm Stewart, who crashed early in 2019 in Glendale, Arizona, he's back from a broken leg on the 27th, looking for a win here as well. He took a hard lick in practice, but man, he has rebounded. Like you said to the number six of Jeremy Martin, been out of racing for quite some time. Great to see him back. He got a really good start. Positioned himself perfect here early in the race. Vince Freezy is on the number 64 Honda. He's in the blue riding gear, and he has moved himself up into second. So now we know Cian Cirillo has a shot at the whole shot award, right? He's gotten the first whole shot of the night. You have to win all three main events to be in the running for the million. And he's already opened up a 1.6 second gap on Vince Freezy. And Eli Tomac is in fifth, trying to close in. You'll see him right there on that green Kawasaki. Malcolm almost lost it at the top of the big turn up in the grandstands. He almost tucked the front. Instead, he gathers it up, gets around Martin. He moves himself up to third. Oh, Cianciarolo with the big bobble. And look at this. He's going to lose the lead. It's going to be Malcolm Stewart. And now Crazy has the lead. Stewart goes to second. Martin is also in front of Cianciarolo, as is Tomac. And Tomac gets around Malcolm Stewart. So a great opportunity for Eli. Yeah, here's the replay right here. Adam Cianciarolo going over the double. He's going to come into the inside and pushes the front end. Leans the bike over just a little too much. Watch right here. And the front end just loses traction, and he goes down. We were talking about this corner earlier today. Just no grip right there. The two smart top Bullfrog Honda riders and the two Monster Energy Kawasaki riders battling for the win in main event number one. And all four of them still have to do the Joker lane, and there's four to go. And Eli is into the lead. What a pass by Eli Tomac. He set Vince Freezy up in that rhythm section, carrying a little bit more speed through the jumps, driving through there, carrying what going way faster. And was able to go up the inside, take Vince Freezy's line away. Here comes Tomac into the Joker lane. There's Adam Cianciarillo. Here come the rest of the top riders through the Joker lane. Here they come. Look at Ralph. Adam Cianciarillo jumping through there, kind of following what Eli Tomac was doing. Jumping really far. I didn't think that they were going to jump so far into the sand because when you land, the bike kind of gets sucked up by the sand and it would kill your momentum. I thought they were going to roll over those little wall jumps and accelerate down the backside to get a good run. Coming to the checkered flag. Up the big hill one more time. Eli Tomac had to win all three. If he wanted a million again, he's got main event number one. 
Sam Cerullo takes second, Stewart is third, and Vince Freezy is fourth with Barsha fifth. Tomac now the only rider who has a shot at a million. The rest could still win the overall, but they would get 100 grand. The riders are in the game, 22, but there's only one that has a shot at a million dollars, and that's Eli Tomac. He has to win this race right here to continue that quest to a million. Can he do it again? He did it last year. Here comes the gate drop. How about the Toyota hole shot? It's the rider who's been out for 16 months, Jeremy Martin. And then just like that, the 64 goes blowing by once again. Vince Freezy is leading. Perfect time, made a pass when he needed to early in the race, jumped to the inside, took Jeremy Martin's line away. I am just totally impressed how well Vince Freezy is riding and that guy is on a mission. Eli Tomac, there you see him on the Kawasaki, the green motorcycle sitting in fourth with the number one on his back. He's got to get around these three riders, win this race if he wants the million. And the first guy he's got to go by is the three-time world champion, Tim Geyser. That's not going to be easy. And he did it just there, Ricky. And now he's going after Martin. Got him too. He's one rider away from still being in the hunt for a million dollars. Eli Tomac is on rails right now, just making really good passes, going anywhere he can and go on the track. And when he's able to make those kind of passes and moves, that just means he's really comfortable on the bike. You can go inside, outside, wherever on the track, he's definitely comfortable. Tomac working that Kawasaki Monster Energy factory. Oh, oh no! He flicks off the bike. That could cost him a million bucks right there. He's going again. He's just in front of the 11 of Chisholm. That puts him in 10. Tomac, one and eight right now. He's at nine. So these passes you should see right here, very important for one of these riders that we're watching at the front of the field to have a shot at the 100 grand and see it's a Rulo moves up another spot as we watch Malcolm Stewart and Vince Freezy with Stewart just in front of Freezy. Those two teammates over there at those Bullfrog spots, smart top team, why they look so good. Love watching Malcolm Stewart right here. Think about that. At the second round of the Supercross series last year in Glendale, he broke his femur, hasn't been behind a gate in nine months, Ralph, and he's out here leading. Monster Energy Cup second main event. Here's a pass through the lead, goes down the dragon back. He's tripling, he's gonna set Vince up, accelerates hard, coming out of the corner, makes a nice clean pass. Malcolm on the final lap still has to go through, as does Sian Cerullo. Malcolm is into the Joker lane. Can he get through smoothly? Oh! There's a bobble, and here's Sian Cerullo right behind him. Oh, he made it through, Ralph. I thought the rut was gonna grab him and pull him to the side, it didn't. You'd have to be mistake-free from here on this final lap. This Ooh, is a little this, far up there. This is a feel-good story. I can't tell you how hard it is to sit out for nine months and come back and win a main event. Malcolm Stewart, checkered flag! The million dollars is off the table, but a hundred grand will go to either Malcolm Stewart or Adam Cerullo at the end of the night if they can win the overall. Tomac comes home third. Three riders tied with four points. Amazing. What a third main event it's going to be tonight. Three riders tied at four points. One of them will have the lowest score at the end of the night and will take home a hundred grand from the Monster Energy Cup here in Las Vegas. Who will it be? Malcolm Stewart, Adam Cerullo, or Eli Tomac? Let's race for a hundred grand. First up, the Toyota hole shot. Adam Cianciarolo going for it. He's got it. Cianciarolo with a great.
great start. Tomac is right there in third, and that's Tim Geyser running in second. Yeah, Eli's gonna have to make a pass really fast because if he allows, oh! Bobble! And it's gonna be Seance Rule holding on as we watch for the Monster Energy Spider Cam. But Tomac knows he's got to get around Adam Geyser. Adam Cicerillo did not do the finish line jump. Not sure what happened there. I looked up, and he's rolling. Then Eli Tomac jumps, Tim Geyser jumps. They're right on him. Eli Tomac ran into You've got Adam. a rookie leading the reigning and two-time Monster Energy Cup champion running in second and a three-time world champion in third. Ricky, this is what we started the, the show, talking about this very scenario right here, and how would these two like play it out? Right here. That was a bad one right there. Oh, here comes Tomac. Adam holds him off again, but for how long? Eli Tomac had the pass made, Ralph, and when he went over the dragon back, he overjumped it, faced into the double out, and killed all his momentum that he made. Five months ago in this very stadium, Adam Cerullo saw his hopes and dreams of a 250 Supercross championship end up face down in the dirt. Here he is now with a shot at winning, beating his teammate in his debut as a rookie in the 450 class and becoming $100,000 richer. Daniel, what a turn of events it would be here inside this stadium if AC can hang on. With Eli going to the Joker lane, Malcolm moves to second now, but don't forget, Adam, Malcolm, Geyser, Freezy, they still need to go through the Joker lane, and how about Vince Freezy again in the top five? What a night he is having. Last lap, who's gonna get this 100 grand? Cian Cerullo, Tomac, or Stewart? Oh man, Ralph, this is gonna be so good. See so here, Adam's gonna check up right here. He's gonna go to the inside. Can this rookie pull it off in his 450 class debut? He's into the Joker lane, cannot make a mistake. There Clears the first. Oh, it's gonna be close, Ralph. Clears the second, there's Tomac. The crowd's on their feet, here they go. He's through and he's in front. Out of the stadium they go. A hundred grand on the line. $100,000 on the line, here it goes. Eli Tomac's gotta send it into this sand section, not let off, get up the inside of Adam Cianzarulo. Up the hill, back down into the stadium. Adam Cianzarulo, the rookie in his 450 class debut, wins $100,000 at the Monster Energy Cup, and his teammate, Eli Tomac, has to accept defeat from the young rookie, and now they have a long, drawn-out period to Anaheim at the test track. And I can tell you what Monster Energy Kawasaki team is thinking right now, how, how well their chances are going into Anaheim one season over, opener with guys that can win the race. Adam, congratulations taking this win on your 450 debut and it all coming down to that joker lane at that oh, yeah. point when you knew that the both of you were going to be coming together then what were you thinking man I, the first thought is like what a life i get to live like you know that whole race i knew he's behind me we had a gap and i knew it was going to come down to the joker lane man i just just the opportunity to race with eli you know he's accomplished so much and uh, you know, just to be out there on the track with him. I'm just stoked to be up there. I've honestly always looked up to Eli, so just to be out there racing with him, unreal. And to come out on top of my first race, it's, I just can't ask for anything better. You know, I've, I've, I've been through a lot um, and, and really accomplished a lot this year, too. And I'm just so grateful, so grateful for this opportunity to be here. And uh, this is a really good starting point for my, my first season at 450, obviously. What a dream come true, man. What a life I get to live.